Uh, I am the founder of Free Your Spine, and for those of you that are even newer to Free Your Spine, um, just a little intro. Essentially, Free Your Spine is all about motioning and moving your spine, as well as opening your hips up. And how we do that is through movement. So less kind of static stretches and more specifically through what I call our uh, movement flows, per se, movement flows. So how things are gonna go are, we're gonna begin today's session, every Monday we're focusing on spine and Wednesdays we're focusing on hips because these two key areas have been super key in my life in terms of giving me a lot of jip and complaints. So that really was my impetus and motivation to create um, a movement offering that is basically all about shining the light on the spine and the hips and opening these areas up. We're gonna to start today with the spine and we're actually gonna kick off with a little bit of a warm up to start things off with and then we're gonna go into the first movement flow which is gonna be the seated cat. So, hopefully you can all hear me okay, hopefully you can all see me okay, had a few technical hitches um, at the very beginning but hopefully I'm all in full view so do let me know that your, everything's looking good. Um, all you're gonna need is your body, obviously, <laughs> and a chair okay a chair i've got a big armchair um but it doesn't need to be a big old purple aubergine colored armchair like me it can be just a simple chair what i will suggest if the chair is hard i did already recommend this um that you do sit on a cushion okay doesn't matter what's going on at the back of the chair because you're, you want to be more forwards of your chair okay so about a couple of centimeters away from the very front edge of your chair Right, let's get going, shall we? So to begin with, your seated position, you just wanna have your feet about double the width of your hips. So not too narrow, but about double the width of your hips, okay? We're gonna begin just by nodding the chin into the chest. I want you to collect into your breath a little bit. So breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And just using the breath as an opportunity to bring yourself into this present moment, shut out where you come from, the distractions, how the day's gone so far, be it good, be it not so good. And then you're gonna bring your fingers to the back of the neck and give yourself a little bit of a rub-a-dub-dub -dub there along the back of the neck and around the upper shoulders. Just bring some heat through touch of these areas. So we all know we hold a lot of tension, carry a lot of emotional, physical tension, stress around the neck, around the upper shoulders. So give yourself a little bit of me time through some gentle massage. Could spend the whole session doing this, but let's just do another couple of rubs. Chin drawing into the chest. And then just letting the arms spill down through the legs. We're going to start to mobilize the neck through some neck circles. Okay, so nothing too fancy, right? Neck circles are though, however, just as important as brushing your teeth is what I say. They're, they may be not the most interesting of movements, but by way of just orbiting your neck around your shoulders and mobilizing the muscles of your neck and the joints of your neck, the cervical spine, which is at the back of your neck, the vertebra there, there's seven bones there, vertebra, and they can get, you know, little static, little sedentary in these fixed positions that we carry our neck in. So we're just bringing a little bit of juice and some motion, motion, into the neck. I'm gonna change the direction. It is important to say, right, that I'm a big fan of choosing the tempo that works intuitively and innately with where you're at today, how you're feeling, how your neck feels. So do feel free to go a little quicker or slower than I may be guiding you, right? 
Let's change directions one more time. So, you know, you miss brushing your teeth one day. Your mouth feels a little funky, right? So consider if you never move your neck like this, how the muscles, ligaments, tendons and joints will be feeling. Maybe a little dehydrated, a little left out, a little unhappy, moody, which manifests through tensions, tightnesses, stresses, so on and so forth. So reverse the direction if you haven't already. After all the movement training um, and teachings and practices I've done over about 20 years, I keep coming back to simplicity is best. Simple movements to keep the longevity, health and happiness of your body. So last time around there, and then we're gonna move into what I call a uh, shoulder rows. So bringing the hands to the shoulders, let's bring some energy into these shoulder rows to build into that mobilizing goodness through the shoulder joint. And I'm gonna bring your awareness into some of the details here. So thinking about the spine now that lives in between your shoulder blades, which is known as the thoracic spine, getting a massage of your shoulder blades squeezing into the upper spine as you roll the shoulders around in the joint. Then you can think about the chest bone that lives here at the front of the body and gently lifting the chest bone up as the elbows rise up and the chest bone down as the elbows go down here. So that you get this rising of the chest and this lowering of the chest bone as you circle your shoulders. And again, you might want to go a little slower here if you're not quite getting the gist of this. Lifting the chest up as the elbows rise. Letting the chest draw down and back through the shoulders as the elbows come here, come down to the hips. So you're interacting with other areas of your spine other areas of your body as you mobilize your shoulder joint, which is kind of cool, right? Just paying attention to how the breath is coming in and out, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and then reverse your shoulder rows, guys. Inhale, in this case, the chest can lift up, the eyes can lift up too, Exhale, elbows down to your hips, shoulders rolling in the opposite direction. Inhale, chest lifts up. Exhale, chest bone draws down and back through the shoulder blades. Don't worry if you, know, you don't get all of these details all at once. I wouldn't expect you to. But I just want to bring the awareness into other areas that you may not be thinking about as you're moving through these shoulder rows. Let's just do a couple more here. Good, from here into seated roll downs. We're gonna stretch the arms upright, lengthen your fingertips all the way up to north, north, north pole, inhale. Exhale, crumple over those hips, heavy head. Hang out over those legs. Invite a little bebop bounce over the hips. Let the weight of the head go heavy. For four, three, two, one. Now fill your breath up with, your back up with breath. Fill your back up with breath, inhale. And then rolling up through the spine, peeling up through the lower vertebra, the middle, the upper, and then the head. And let's go one more time in that seated roll down. Inhale, reach up, lengthen the waistlines, the ribs lift up. Exhale, crumble over those hips. And this time just a little sway out through the torso, side to side. And centering up, inhale. 
Exhale, rolling, unraveling through the spine, lower, middle, upper, ha. And here we are. So that's our little warm up. We're now going to move into the first movement flow known as the seated cat flow. You may be familiar with cats from yoga or Pilates class that you've taken prior, um, where you do the cat on all fours. Now the beauty of doing a seated cat is you um, actually offload the pressure from the discs, the discs that live in between the vertebral bodies of the spine. And in some ways it becomes a little easier to find the motion and movement through the spine. So first things first, we're gonna do the cat at center. So looking at one another, hi. And then we're gonna take it off center. So feet are double the width of the hips. Again, you're sat more to the front edge of your seat. And just take a moment, wiggle, 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 wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. So you feel the sits bones at the front of the pelvis. The sits bones being the bony notches that are, sit at the base of the pelvis. We're gonna plant the hands down into the knees and then we're gonna arch, 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 arch the spine forwards. Feel like someone's pulling you forwards from your breastbone here, inhale. And then exhale, you're gonna reverse that back curve. You're gonna take the curve back to open the back body. Inhale, you're stretching the front of the body, the abdomen, the ribs, the chest, the neck, the eyes can lengthen up. Exhale, round back. You're stretching the back of the body from back of neck, between shoulder blades, between ribs, between and lower spine. And you're pressurizing the hands somewhat onto the thighs as you inhale. Shoulder blades squeeze together. Exhale to round back. Now, if you've really got this, you may have got this because you know what cat's about, then I want you to play with the tempo. So, change it up. Speed up that rhythm where you move between the two curves of extension where the back arches and flexion where the back rounds. You're moving the full spine, the full spine being that, um, that it lives all the way from the hips to the back of the head. So the hips, you're rolling forwards into your bum bones as you come into your thighs. You're rolling off your bum bones as you round back. The spine lives all the way up into the head. So there's a gentle nod of the chin down as you round and the chin up as you arch. We're moving the spine as evenly and with as much balance as we can. Keep coordinating your breath. Inhale to arch, exhale to round. The beauty of this is you're letting the abdominals go here. They're chilling as you arch forwards and then you're getting some abdominal play as you contract them back into your spine. Let's just go for four more. Great for your digestion system to do this, cat. So many benefits, running great spinal fluid all the way up and down the spine. Last one, massaging your abdominals and your inner organs. And then from here, we're gonna take the cat off center. The beauty of taking the cat off center is that we don't move very much through uh, twists in life, in general, at work, we're sat forward facing, walking, we're forward facing, talking, we talk to people in front of us. So we're not using the surround space as much and free your spine is a lot about embracing that surround space, that around space. So we're gonna twist over to one leg. You're gonna bring one hand down and the other hand on top. You're gonna pressurize the bottom hand into the thigh and you're gonna move into the cat off center. So you're inviting a twist into the body and the twist is coming from the mid body, from the rib cage area, rather than from the hips too much. So feel like your hips are planted down into the seat of your chair or on that cushion that you may be on. And you're arching and rounding the spine as well as now have invited some rotation into the back. Inhale, push that palm down into the thigh. Exhale, round back. Try and feel like you've got level steady weight across one bum sheet to the other. And don't worry, just notice that there are restrictions in the movement and just observe them rather than um, 
automatically as human beings we want to judge those restrictions. No judgments, just observations. Again, you can play with the tempo, start to speed it up a little bit. Noticing what's happening through your abdominals as you arch forwards, they let go, as you round back, they contract into your spine a bit more, right? Let's go for four. Ha! Three, inhale forwards, exhale back. Two. Last one, guys. Smelling my plant here. And then we're gonna to rotate to the other direction. So the rotation comes from the middle of the body, the ribs, rather than the pelvis. The pelvis stays securely rooted down into that chair. Let's bring the left, the other hand comes underneath to where the other side, and we go off to the other direction. Just notice where you're feeling a stretch. It might be different in the off-center cat than when we were doing it at center. Maybe it's more around the, the side of the body, the waist or the hip. Pressurize that bottom hand into your thigh. Remember, the spine lives all the way from the hips to the head, so there's motion rolling across the base of the pelvis. There's motion in the chin lifting up as you inhale, the chin dropping down and back as you exhale. Planting down through either of your bum cheeks on your chair for four. You can play with your tempo by all means. Choose what works best for you guys. Last couple. Last one. So there we had it, the seated cat flow at center and then off center. Now, because some of you may or may not be at work, you may or may be catching this live, but wherever you are in your day, it's useful to bring some energy into around the lower half of the body. So we're gonna do that through a series of what I call sit to stands. So now we're gonna bring the feet in, okay? So the heels are about in line with the hips. You're gonna plaster your, plaster? You're gonna plant your hands onto your hips and you're gonna lean in, lean the torso into the thighs, right? Then you're gonna simmer, so you're gonna bob the pelvis up off the seat of the chair, and then you're gonna stand. You're gonna stand up, head, shoulders, hips, heels, all in one long line, and then you're gonna simmer the hips back down. You're not sitting down, you're just hovering over that chair. And then you're gonna push the floor away with the feet and stand up. And we're gonna go for a, a set of 10 here, okay? You ready? You're leaning into your thighs, you're pushing the floor away. We're gonna go for one, standing, squeezing out from the back of the hip. And two, so bringing energy into those gluteus muscles. And three, leaning into the thighs and standing up, four. Bringing energy into the muscles around the pelvis, five. Especially around the back of the hip, the glute. Six, feel like you're really squeezing through the back of the hip to stand up here. Seven, are you ready? Three more, let's go. Eight, happy new year. <laughs> Nine, last one guys, to stand up. And then we have the cherry on the cake moment. You're gonna simmer, simmer the hips over that seat of the chair. And we're just gonna pulse, pulse the hips up and down. Now I'm just gonna turn sideways on so you can see the position of my back. We're not super arching like this through the spine, but we're around what's known as more neutral position of the back. So drawing the tailbone gently down towards the heels, lifting the abdominals in and up to the spine. And we're gonna pulse for another 10, nine, energy through those quads, eight. Keep it going, six, five, four, you got it, three, quads are feeling it, right? Last one, hold it, hold it, hold it. Sit a little further back into that seat, but not quite sat down yet, that's coming up. Hold it, three, hold it, hold it, hold it. Two, ah, oh, I let it go, one. And there we have it, some sit to stands and some pulses from squat position. Just wanted to bring a bit of heat into those quads bit of life into the glutes and I think we shall leave it there though today 
because we're probably about at time we are indeed it's 1 20 i like to be on time i'm very punctual like that um don't want to take up a minute longer but yeah the whole philosophy with free your spine is move little move often and therefore move more so i'm here to be your wing woman to inspire um you to move more often move move little and move often that's why these these workouts we're doing are only 20 minutes but hopefully it was enough for you to feel a bit brighter a bit lighter in your spine a little bit more energized around your your hips and basically free your spine to free your mind because why do we move we move we work out we strength strengthen and stretch our bodies to feel good right so it's as much about bringing the well-being into our headspace as it is about bringing um, life energy stretch movement motion into our spine so guys that was it day one is done i'm so glad that um you know you're you're coming along for this delicious ride with me over the next 28 days it's actually going to be one day more than 28 days because the last day we're going to have a little playtime fun but um yeah i'll let you know more about that when we get closer to it i am on the end of the um internet waves so feel free to reach out if you have any questions do this, do this again, try and do the seated cat again before we meet on Wednesday, because every week we're going to build upon what we've done the week before, okay? So I would like you to get at least one more um, of these uh, seated cats in before Wednesday. If you want to do another three, four goes, go for it. Um, but yeah, that's how we can build the muscle memory up. That's how we can build up feeling consistently good and also just generally show the love into our bodies and backs that you know they they deserve right you deserve it okay we'll leave it there guys thank you and i'll see you wednesday for some hips some hips 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 take care